Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here with Queen City Reefs and more. All right, what are we looking at here today? We are looking at the Red Sea E260 Max. This is a 69 gallon Red Sea Aquarium, a white one that uh, is housing nothing but anemones, every kind of anemone that you can think of. Let's see, let's start with, we have rainbow tip anemones, which are the rainbow bubble tip. We have one that has shrunk for whatever reason, that is a black widow. We have some kind of sunburst that I don't see right now. We have several colors of the rock flower anemones. And the most coolest of them all is the glass anemones. <laughs> yes, we have a bunch of uh, Aptasia in here. Oh, that's right. And we have a blue carpet anemone back there. There we go. All right. So in this tank, we have five fish. You already know of four of them. It is this Radiant Rass. It is this Mystery Rass. One of my favorite. It is these two clownfish. Uh, actually, I only see one right now. But there's two. And the newest member to this tank is... See if we can get it to focus. There we go. It is a copper band butterfly. He arrived he or she arrived today from drquarantinefish.com. I purchased him weeks and weeks and weeks ago. So if you don't know about drquarantinefish.com, he is a gentleman who quarantines fish. You get to place the order, he quarantines them, he lets you know when it's done and you pay at that moment, not before which I think it's actually pretty cool. So I got this fish and I got, uh, actually I got a total of four fish and two did not make it is what he told me. So he only shipped two of them. Uh, the other one I'm gonna keep as a surprise for my next update video for now because it's in the 310 gallon tank. And so this one made it to this tank because of all these beautiful anemones that we have in here. There we go, see? So I'm hoping that he enjoys a buffet of anemones. I did feed the tank also earlier, but he seemed to only be interested in coming close to it and then not eating those uh, frozen food, which was every type of frozen food. I had uh, frozen copepods. I had mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, squid, uh, all kinds of uh, food that came in here and he was not interested in. So... I am going to see, post on my Facebook local group to see if anybody has any black worms or something like that and see if maybe that will get them interested in eating and we'll take it from there. So for now, I'm hoping this guy is interested in the Aptasia. I am aware that he may nip at some of these corals. That's why this can not only be your best friend, but he can also be your enemy just for the simple fact that he will nip at some coral um it's been heard of and it's not uncommon for them to do so but you can get lucky to where they actually won't uh, but if they like aptasia why wouldn't they like uh, any other type of soft coral right that being said it's a chance i'm willing to take all right well that is the update for this week i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you continue to follow along I don't have any updates on the frag tank. Unfortunately, that frag tank has sat there for quite some time. I've been extremely busy. Uh, and like I said before, I'm taking my time with it. I am in no hurry at all. Uh, I also decided to not keep the 40 gallon breeder. Instead, I'm going to be selling it. And once I sell it, I plan on getting a different frag tank so that I can have two frag tanks in there. Uh, my plan is to get an innovative marine because they seem to be the, the one of the as nice as the other like you know Kate aquariums which are very beautiful too 
but more cost friendly, right? Cheaper, just pretty much, you know, like I was looking at the Kate Aquarium's frag tanks and they cost uh, over about over $2,000 or something like that. And Innovative Marina is always having sales and like their 50 gallon is about 12 or 1300 bucks. So to me, they're just as nice. I am looking at an all-in-one. I was at Tristan's house, uh, which is part uh, TRSC Aquatics. They had one there and I thought it, that it was actually very, very nice. And so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and, and get one of those whenever I'm ready, as soon as I'm able to continue working in that office. And once I do, then I will definitely keep y'all posted, keep y'all updated on what's going on. Uh, next video, I'll give you an update on the Mega Matrix, similar to this style here, so y'all can see the fish that I picked up from DrQuarantineFish.com. And uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, what do you think of this fish? Do you have one? Have you had one? Do you plan on getting one? If all the answer to all that is no, how come? Why? Why are you so reluctant from getting a copper band <laughs> i can i'm assuming i know the answer to that but definitely would like to hear everybody's opinion all right thanks again for tuning in thanks for watching if you're not already subscribed please continue to uh, consider subscribing uh, please hit the like button leave a comment below and i will catch you on the next one have here.